let's talk about game three tonight and I'm gonna give uh, a little preview of what I think uh, is gonna happen and what the lineups look and who's pitching for tonight. Uh, as Drupal Cabrera is going to start over Howie Kendrick, which is kind of a surprise considering how well Kendrick has been doing in the playoff, well, as of late, past four games in the playoffs. But Cabrera has the better numbers against Grinky, and in this, um, in the World Series, they both have comparable stat lines, but that three RBI game in game two sure does help Cabrera out uh, in this starting matchup, even though he did strike up three times. Um, this is going to be the first World Series game in Washington, D.C. since FDR was sworn in into office as the president. Uh, the pitching matchup tonight is going to be Zach Greinke and Anibal Sanchez. Uh, that that's going to be a really I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup I've said that about the previous two games and I feel like I was decently okay with game one and game two until the seventh inning I was okay with um, lineups for well Sanchez has I feel confident with Sanchez uh, at, at home especially uh, he's had a .71 ERA in the playoffs. He, I think he has a 2-2 two and two record. So, 500. Uh, Granky, I don't... Granky's been a little banged up in the playoffs. Um, he hasn't, hasn't done great. Uh, lineups for the Houston Astros. Springer's leading off. Altuve's batting second. Brantley's batting third. Uh, Bragman 4th, Gurriel 5th, uh, Correa 6th, uh, Josh Reddick 7th, Robinson Chirinos 8th, and Zach Granke batting ninth. Remember, we got the pitchers batting. This is in the NL. This is an NL stadium, so the NL rules apply, uh, which is just the pitcher bat, so there's no DH. For the Washington Nationals, Trey Turner's leading off, Adam Eaton batting 2nd, Anthony Rendon third, Soto fourth. Who is who just turned twenty one today? So, what a birthday gift if he could do something well in this game. Um, there's Dribble Cabrera batting fifth, and for Howie Kendrick, Ryan Zimmerman batting sixth, Kurt Suzuki batting seventh, Robles batting eighth, and Anibal Sanchez batting ninth. Now for um, what I think is. What I think needs to happen is Astros kind of need a win tonight to put them back in at least a comfortable spot. Not a favorable spot, but a comfortable spot in the series. Uh, if they lose tonight, they'll be down 3-0. They'll have to win the next four to win it all, which it's not impossible for them to if they're going to against them. If, if any team is going to be down 3-0 and you still have some slight of confidence in them, it's this team. How you're going to do that against Scherzer, Strasburg, the uh, way Patrick Corbin and Anibal Sanchez has, has been playing in this playoffs, it's going to be a tough mountain to climb. But if any team's going to do it, I think they can. And they're not dead at all if they lose tonight. I mean, it's mathematical that the series is over, but I don't think it's never over. Until the last out is made, uh, Nats would love to get a, get them a home win in their first game at home. Uh, now I'm going to move on to some news that has happened in the world of baseball. Uh, Carlos Correa, or not Carlos Correa, wrong person. Carlos Carrasco, the pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, he is named. The 2019 Roberto Clemente Award. He is the winner of said award. Um, the award, if for people not who don't know or don't know what that award is, uh, that award goes to the best person who exemplifies the game of baseball, sportsmanship, community involvement, and the individual's contribution to this to his team. Uh, Carrasco was recognized for his humanitarian work on three continents. I would assume. 
probably is um probably Puerto Rico the Caribbean that I know it's on a continent but the Caribbean that area for what happened or with all those hurricanes so that probably helped um but most people there's a lot of people that do humanitarian work and charities and stuff uh, in in all sports really uh, for most people for most baseball players this award means that's like the top award for most of them I mean like World Series MVP stuff like that is obviously the highest but to get an award like the Roberto Clemente award I think that's like the top for most people uh, it's equivalent to the Walter Payton Man of the Year award in the sport of football it's, they're kind of the same. Um, and also, I think this is how you say his first name at least. Kame, Kame Bloom. Uh, he is now the new chief baseball officer of the Boston Red Sox. He is the guy who is replacing Dave Dombrowski. That's who is replacing him, Kame Bloom. Uh, John Henry, the owner of the Red Sox, made it very abundantly clear that they want to get below the first luxury tax threshold of 208 million dollars and bloom worked in the Rays organization where they are probably consistently bottom five in peril and they made the playoffs this year and they made the playoffs last year and they they filled in really good competitive teams with bottom five payroll so hopefully the Red Sox don't go down to they cut hope they hope they don't cut uh, expenses back that much. They just need to kind of tidy up their finances, uh, which the, uh, Bloom and the Red Sox organization is going to have a difficult time doing that and trying to maneuver all that stuff around because uh, Mookie Betts and JD Martinez are both going to want to get paid handsomely for what they have done. Handsomely. They are going to want to get paid now, and especially bets, considering, I believe, last year he went through arbitration and the year before he went through arbitration. So he's going to want to get a contract rock solid today. He's going to want it before, I think, probably before the season starts. Uh... So yeah, that's just my, what I think, what what needs to happen in Game 3, Astros kind of need a win. If the Nats get it, most people will probably say that the series is over. It's not. But, uh, that's my, that's what, I think Astros need a win. I think they will win tonight. Uh, and yeah, that's just kind of some of the new news. Um, so if you guys liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you would like to. Share this with all your friends and buddies. And I will see you guys later.